Most macro lenses go up to one to one magnification, some even up to two to one, but this lens isn't an ordinary macro lens because it has a magnification range of two and a half and it goes all the way up to five times magnification, which will allow you to take some very unique, super close up images that you can't take with a normal macro lens. In this video, I am going to review and give my thoughts on the Lyowa 25 millimeter lens I'm also going to give some tips on the best ways to use this lens and some things to consider as well. The Lyowa 25mm is a dedicated macro lens that is designed to focus on very close subjects. The lens can only focus on subjects within a 4 to 4.5 centimeter distance, so the working distance is very short. And it is also a fully manual lens, so no autofocus, automatic aperture control, or electronic contacts for recording EXIF data. If you are used to shooting in manual mode, then this lens being fully manual shouldn't be much of an issue. The lens is small and compact, which is great for high magnification macro photography because the smaller and lighter, the better. It does not have a focusing ring, but it does have a ring to change the magnification which is a little stiff to turn, but that is a good thing because you do not have to worry too much about accidentally zooming out or in. To change the aperture, you just rotate the aperture ring on the front. Overall, I really like the build quality of this lens. Shooting at high magnifications will definitely be challenging for most. And since this is a manual lens, that means that this lens does not have image stabilization so I highly recommend using a flash to counter the lack of image stabilization. Something I do for better stabilization when using this lens is I will move my subjects to the ground because I can better stabilize my camera when I'm on the ground and that also makes focus stacking a lot easier and I focus stack every image I take with this lens. Another thing you have to deal with is a very shallow depth of field. The depth of field in macro photography is already very shallow and with this lens it is even more shallow because at higher magnifications your depth of field will decrease. If you want to increase the depth of field in your shots and come away with the sharpest images possible with this lens then I recommend focus stacking and keeping your aperture at f4 or f5.6. I do not recommend shooting no higher than f5.6 because the diffraction will start getting noticeable at f8 and the diffraction at f16 is unusable. If you want to learn more about focus stacking, I have a playlist with multiple videos that cover this topic more in depth. I will have that on the end screen if you want to check that out. Another challenge at shooting at high magnifications is you will have a very short working distance. With this lens, you have only a four to four and a half centimeter distance. So if you plan on photographing live subjects with this lens, I recommend going out to photograph in the early morning hours because most bugs are still at rest during those hours, which makes getting closer easier. If you have no experience with shooting at high magnifications, it is best to first practice with inanimate objects because this is not an easy lens to use, especially as a beginner. The image quality across all magnifications is very good. The lens is very sharp, even at five times magnification. Like I said earlier, to get the best sharpness, shoot at f5.6 and under. Overall, I have no complaints with the image quality. Overall, I think this is a very good lens. It's small and compact, and it can produce some very sharp photos. I've had this lens for almost four years now, and I can say that this is a very difficult lens to use in my opinion. The short working distance, the lack of image stabilization, 
and the extremely shallow depth of field make this a difficult lens to master. So if you are new to high magnification macro photography and you plan on getting this lens or a similar one, just be patient with it because I know it will be frustrating at first, but just keep practicing your techniques and you will see yourself improving over time. I hope this video was helpful for you. And if you already own this lens, then let me know your thoughts on this lens down in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure to like and subscribe for more content like this, and I'll catch y'all in the next one.